Hello, my marvelous muses. How we doing, guys? So, I have two videos ready to post, but I got something today uh, via Amazon, and I just can't wait. We're going to make it, and I'm going to post this now. You'll get the next two videos the next two nights, but uh, this was actually a gift. It came via Amazon. Uh, enjoy your gift, Marva. I am truly looking forward to seeing some of the awesome treasures you create. Have fun. From Linda O. And what Linda sent me, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Linda, is the new Let's Resin Polyurethane 10 Minute Cure Resin, guys. I'm so excited for this. So excited. Can't lie. So, what we're going to do, because it's my first time trying it, and I've seen. Two people now use this. I've seen Sherry Moulton. She did um, a planter with it the other day. She accidentally didn't mix it fast enough and didn't get it put in fast enough. And she actually cured a whole blob of it. She put glitter in it. But the glitter was kind of hard to see because the stuff cures white. So uh, that was one of the things. It cures white so it was very... Very hard to see the glitter. She added color to it, but she added like a lot of blue pigment. And it still only made it like a light pastel blue. But today, I saw Daniel Cooper do it. He did it in... Uh, the way he did it, number one, is how we're going to do it. Because I figured it was genius. Number two, we're going to try a couple different techniques. Uh, what he actually did was he squirted alcohol ink into the mold itself. He did jewelry, of course. Uh, he squirted alcohol, he gave the mold itself, and then he poured it on and kind of swirled it around a little bit in there. Came out beautiful. The colors were vibrant. He did one in black and swirled it around, and it ended up being black and white. Beautiful. But we're going to try one with mica. Because I was reading, there's not a whole lot of information on Let's Resin's pamphlets that they give you. They do tell you that you could degas it in a... Um, pressure pot, but you only do it for, I believe it was 30 seconds. It's not very long. So, you don't have a lot of work time with this, guys. It cures literally in 10 minutes. It, you see it start curing in less than that. So, what we're going to do is, I'm going to brush some mica powder first. That's what we're going to do first. And then we're going to do this one. I'm sit it off to the side. We're going to do this one. I also want to see if holographic works with it. And we're going to do this holographic one. This one we're going to do the same way Daniel did. We're going to drop the alcohol ink in here. And then we're going to pour it. We are going to mix each one individually. I'm not mixing all three together because I wouldn't have time to do these before it cures. So we're going to do this one. And the way Daniel did it was he took and separated two cups, A and B. Um, and then he sticks up here. He separated two cups A and B just like we've got here it's equal amount one to one by weight or volume and then he used pipettes and he labeled each pipette A and B once you get it done labeling the pipettes and everything A and B as long as you haven't mixed the two together they're not going to harden so what we can do is we can mix the amount of A and B for this which um, was 30 mil. I measured it in mils, not ounces on here. I measured it in mils because this cup doesn't have ounces on it. So it's 30 mils. So I'm going to do 15 mil of this, 15 mil of this. Then, after we pour that, we're going to mix it in a separate cup here. In a separate little cup. That one's clean. I think that one's clean. Yeah. We're going to mix it into a separate cup. And pour it. Then we're going to do the same thing. Keep keep these separate A and B. We're going to mix up the stuff for this. Before we mix the two together. I'm dropping the alcohol ink. We're going to mix the two together. Because you only have. They only recommend that you stir it for about a, a minute. That's it. And then you pour it. 
this one here not going to take much at all we're just going to mix it and pour so but i do not want these to harden on me before i have a chance to put them in so before we do anything with anything i'm going to dust this mold with the mica get my gloves on well, i don't need gloves on the dust we can dust without the gloves and the color that i'm going to use is called living earth it is the chameleon powder and it is the It is, a, it is a Alexis Mica Powder Chameleon Powders. I don't have the lid off the air yet. I do now. Because I want to see. I haven't seen anybody do micas with it. So I want to see if the micas will stick to it. And how they're going to look. I also want to do a tray with it and maybe do, um, I've got a Timu order, Timu haul ready to post. It has a lot of tattoos in it. We might do a tray, demold it and put a tattoo on top and then clear coat it with regular resin. So, we'll see. Another thing I read on another website about it is they said you can torch to get the bubbles out. Now, I don't know if that is the same with this one or not, but it said you can run a butane lighter or torch over it. So, we shall see. Alright, so we have part A. I'm going to separate it here. I don't want part B up here in my way. I'm going to put my gloves on here. It is a very low viscosity resin. And what that means is the consistency is like water when you're done. Literally like water. Alright. Okay, so this is B. We don't want that one. We want the A. The A pipette. And I want to do 15 mil. So my first line is 10. So then we're going to go up here to... The, actually, we're going to do just below the 20. Of course, you can pour it, but... For a small amount like this especially until you get the jugs down a little bit it's easier to to do this We're at 10 right now. see what we're up, at, up to now. We're actually right at 10 exactly.
what are we at? Just slightly, just a hair under 20. So probably 18. So we got 18 mil in this cup. this right here. Now I'm going to set this down. I'm going to get part B. I'm going to bring it over here and we're going to do the same exact thing. All right. Okay, so we have these two together. We have these two right here. This one here's got a few bubbles in it already. Alright. So. I'll move this just slightly over here. And I'm going to pour these two in here. We are going to stir literally for one minute. Hope this is enough. It's going to be enough to see if it works anyway. I'm going to mix it till you know it's mixed up. It is getting already getting warm. They say it will get very warm. That it is doing very quickly. Alright, so we're going to mix it here, guys. I mean, we're going to pour it here, guys. They say pour it into the deepest part of the mold and just let it flow to where it wants to. Okay, we didn't go all the way to the edge, guys, but that's all right.
we're just gonna let this cure this is a test just to see if it works with the mica powders so while that's doing its thing we're gonna do the same thing here gonna take part a and part b and do the same thing we can use the same a and b cups we can't use probably won't be able to use this one because it's gonna harden before we get a chance Same thing with this. Can you see this already changing colors, guys? It's already changing. Look at the color changing, guys. Now, I just wonder if this cures completely. It didn't burn, so that's a plus. That is a plus. It did not burn up. <laughs> Didn't flame. I don't want to do this other one because I'm putting alcohol ink in it, so I don't want to torch it. So we have 20 mil. Now we're going to do B. You can also pour over the top of this. Because I did see Daniel add another layer to one. And it seemed to work. For example, if I wanted to finish pouring this, I could pour it. Like I said, this is just a test. Because we're seeing what works with it and what doesn't.
again, part A, part B, separate cups. Got a cup here to mix it in. Got a stick here. I'm going to move this out of the way. Now, I have violet and I have teal. And I'm going to do violet in the center. Not open. Not open yet. There we go. Also, we're going to mix some glitter in with this. We're going to do some peacock green chunky glitter. And we'll do that after we get the two mixed together right quick. Okay, are we ready? Good thing about these are they're very, very liquefied. So they pour out very easy. Don't really have to scrape the cup a whole lot. We're going to see if we can do a pattern. <laughs> I don't know if we will or not, but we're going to try. Pour some glitter in here. Nope, I dropped my pipe at. Okay. Okay, I can feel it getting warm in my hand. Now, before this cures all the way, we're going to do do some swirls here. Guys, <laughs> that is hard already. Yeah, I didn't feel it quite full enough. And what I may do is make a little extra for this. And we're going to pour the rest over the top of this and see what happens when we add to it. So we're going to do the same thing we did just a second ago. You're going to let this do its thing now. They recommend for shallower pours small to medium like little statues i'm assuming this would be like a small to medium you could probably pour it in that but if you did that you'd probably want to put it in a pressure pot or something to degas it to take the bubbles out ahead of time because if not you probably have a lot of bubbles in there i know sherry had quite a few when she did hers so um they also recommend pouring from the side down Okay, so this is A. Alright, so we need A again. Need A again. I'm 
like I said, you can weigh those two. Okay, what are we up to? We're up to 10. I'm going to do 20 on here because I'm going to use the leftover for this. See that one changing? Pretty crazy, guys. Just watching this cure before your eyes. It says your working time is two minutes, guys. And I could feel it heating up pretty quick. Twenty there. And we're gonna do twenty of this. Twenty of B. Also, what I thought you might be able to do, because you have such limited work time, I haven't tried that yet. I may try it here in a minute on something small. Maybe on this. We'll see. I thought about adding the pigment to, like, one or the other. Like, adding the dye to part A and then mixing A and B together. So that way you don't spend too much time stirring your pigment in. You can stir your pigment in really good to one part of it without it curing. So we may try to do that here. Alright. So that's what we're going to do here. Again, you keep your stuff separate so that way it doesn't cure on itself. Alright, so, let's mix a little bit of the pigment in here. We're going to mix it in part B. I'm going to stir it in here. It may not mix in until you mix the two together. Alright, so now... Okay, now we're going to, one minute, that actually worked pretty good. <laughs> I 
see if we have enough left here. And all I did was I just reached over and I hit my timer on my UV resin lamp for one minute. Okay. we go. Uh, let's finish pouring this in here. Alright. So we'll see what happens here, guys. We will see what happens here. I'm excited for this. What do you think? Huh? What do you guys think so far? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take you guys down, I'm going to bring you off the camera, I'm going to let you come down here and watch this stuff start changing. Right in front of our eyes, guys. Look at this one, back here. Look at that one, that one's changing right in front of our face. How cool, huh? Alright, we're going to give these a few minutes to cure, and we will be back for demo. Okay, guys, it's been a few minutes, about 10, 15 minutes max. Um, it says they're fully cured in an hour, but they, they're cured enough to demold in 10 minutes. So, cured enough, you can't do nothing with them in 10 minutes. Alright, so let's see what we got here. This is the one where we put the ink in. And the glitter. So it looks like the ink kind of left a residue on the top. See the ink left a residue on it. Got my hands off here. Let's see what happens when we wipe it off here. Okay. All right, so that's that one. Let's see what we get here with the little hummingbird. Let's see if we get any uh, holographic effect. Let's see if we get the holographic effect. Oh, we do. Isn't that pretty? And that was mixing this teal pigment in with I mixed it in with part B and then I mixed the two together and stirred them for one minute and then poured it in. And that turned out gorgeous. Is it holographic? Very pretty. Alright, now let's see what we have with the micas. I've noticed that they all have this, like, the bubbles on the back here. Can you see these? It's like they rose to the surface, but... Um, I'm sure with a resin curing machine, it would probably be better. I mean, not a resin cure, um, pressure pot. So, that's a good sign. 
The mic is not there. Let's see what we have. Ready? One, two, and three. Oh, that turned out nice. Wow, guys. Oh, that's beautiful. And this is... Guys, if you've ever taken out a piece out of something thin like this and it's bendy, this isn't bendy at all. Wow. That turned out beautiful. Holy cow, guys. Wow. So let me know if you have any ideas of things that might work with this. Um, I'm definitely going to be playing around with this. This is fun. I like the fact that it's cured in no time. So this isn't the greatest idea. And I wonder if it's because... See, I don't think this is actually ink. It's not. It's transparent resin dye. So, I this isn't alcohol ink, guys. So, I'm going to have to do another one with alcohol ink. And we'll see how it turned out. But holographic turned out gorgeous. Very pretty. And mica turned out beautiful. Beautiful, guys. Very pretty. Easy to clean up. If you look here, just pick it off. Hardens no time. So, guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Linda, thank you so much. We are definitely going to be playing around with this. Seeing what all we can do. Um, I have some thin molds. There's one that I have that I've never done because it doesn't harden enough. This would be hard. It doesn't harden enough with regular resin that you can stand it up without it bending over. Uh, it's this lady that looks like tree branches that you put jewelry on and hang jewelry off of. And I was told that if you pour her with resin that she's so flimsy that she, she won't stand up. So I'm going to actually try it with this, I think. Uh, I think that would be awesome. Awesome to try. Uh, and again, mica powders, guys. Look at this mica powder. So pretty. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Alright, guys. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, perfect time to do so. We play around with resin here. I don't have my fingernails painted, guys. Sorry, I've been doing a lot today. Um, hope everybody's resin cures beautifully. I hope everybody's happy, healthy, safe, and blessed. I hope if you try this, you give me some tips on it, too. I know a couple of y'all had said you've already ordered it, so let me know what you think as well. I like it. Can't lie. I didn't know what, how I was going to feel because it's white and I love, love me some black resin. But the possibilities with this are... And now that I know my micas work with it, we are good. <laughs> we are golden. I love it. So, um... I hope everybody has a wonderful evening. I hope you're happy, healthy, safe, and blessed. And I will see you guys tomorrow night. Bye.